like that? Uh, bah, 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 eh. Does that sound appeal to you? Oh, I, that's actually unfair. I shouldn't say it doesn't appeal to me. I don't understand it. Oh, I kind of get it. I'm actually impressed that he keeps tucking up into that those high notes, saying that aggressively, that gritty, the scream, and then still have control and pitch and everything to tap up. As I've been reacting to Asian singers and artists, so he seems unique in that. I'm sure that's a great scream. I don't specialize in that. But I worry when I hear singers make that sound because the reality is whatever we do with our voice, we're going to feel it. You know, this, this misconception, this is kind of edgy of me to say this, the misconception that as long as you sing properly, as long as you're doing everything correctly, you won't hurt your voice. And only singers who are, who are singing poorly will hurt their voice. I think this is a fallacy. I think that the reality is, as a singer, our voice is made of flesh and blood. Our instrument is made of flesh and blood. And whatever we do, when we wake up the next day or later that day after a full show, you're going to feel that. He's going to feel that. That's like going to a concert, screaming at the top of your lungs because it's your favorite singer and you're screaming and you're cheering. You know how your voice feels after, right? So yeah, as a singer, we know how to restrain that and be a little bit more careful. Again, I'm sure he's trained and been very thoughtful about the sound he just made, but number one, I worry for his vocal health on a acute level and kind of long-term. I don't know. I think you should do what you want to do. And I think that singing is almost a blood sport. <laughs> you have to, you have to commit for sure. But I've never, that sound has never appealed to me. Oh, I, that's actually unfair. I shouldn't say it doesn't appeal to me. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I, I have had students who are in this genre and I have to always kind of calibrate myself and listen to videos. They have to give me references of what they want it to sound like and to feel like because I don't understand it like I understand pop. That was a long spiel. Here we go. This is interesting. I feel like he's backed off a little bit on the, the grit, but I feel like he's almost kind of tucked it up into his mask in efforts to kind of keep that uh, kind of sound, that grit sound without actually doing the grit. It's almost like he's moved it up instead, maybe. The grit's still there, to be clear. But I feel he's also adding in some math. Oh, I kind of get it. I think I, I think I just understood what he's doing. He's kind of, hmm, this is the wrong reference. Like Blink-182, like there's like a pop punk rock vibe where for an era, all the singers kind of had this facey sound. I think he's, I think he's being in genre. I think he's been influenced and inspired and he's delivering that with the grit he had. Like it's a little facey, but it also sounds good. Offspring. Sorry, not Blink-182, Offspring. Do you guys know Offspring? There's like a vibe going on. I'm actually impressed that he keeps tucking up into that those high notes, those higher falsetto -y or headier notes, because when you kind of fatigue your voice with this gritty, the scream and the gritty singing, it can make like a little swelling or a little fatigue, and it makes it har harder to do that control. And he's, this is live, and he is in pretty good control and pretty good pitch when he's, you know, moving up into those those single high notes. I'm actually pretty impressed with what he has left, like with what he's able to do, sing that aggressively, that gritty, the scream, and then still have control and pitch and everything to tap up. It's pretty good. Love that. He's a showman, hey? He's fun to watch. 
See, good job. That's really, really good job. That is even kind of mixy. Fantastic. <laughs> This artist was quite a ride. He definitely honed in as the years went on. He definitely honed in on his sound and his character and his found his artistic voice. I don't, you know, this is a great example of someone who's a, a good singer. Really, just very good. Not, you know, prolific. But go really good but who has amazing energy, super fun to watch, 10,000 hairstyles, which I loved watching unfold. I love hair and fashion, and when people like him are playful and they're willing to, you know, take a risk. You know, none of the hair he's had, including even this hair, is in the box. It's all completely, you'd find it in like a fashion magazine or a hair magazine, it's a, it's a take on trends, but the extreme. That's, that's a great word for him. He's, he's extremely committed to his performance, to that sound, which I haven't heard, quite frankly, a lot of gritty sound as I've been reacting to Asian singers and artists. So he seems unique in that. So while I don't know that he is the most, the most accurate or the most, well, he, he, he's an interesting artist. And isn't that the most important thing in the end? Isn't that how artists win fans, earn fans? Why people want to keep coming back to shows? Why people want to keep clicking on the videos? Why people want to engage with an artist? Because they're interesting? Because they're committed? Because they're willing to take, you know, fashion risks and just be interesting and cool and be the... Uh, a caricature of themselves. So this was a wild ride. I think he's a very good singer, but an excellent artist. That's how I feel. That was fun.